MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Jordan Montgomery will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The shortstop, Jose Iglesias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays ball, off the ball, breaking ball. First pitch, 1 o'clock. The 1-0. -oh. Hit down the third baseline. And this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? Batting second, the third baseman, Hunter Alberto. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One count. Here's the pitch. Nobody out. Runner on first. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two that pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Ball and that one misses badly. It's ball two. Now the 2-0. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. The 2-1. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting four, the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. Coming to the plate now, Renato Nunez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the belt, the pitch. Ball, that's it. The 
ready with the 1 0. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. The set and the 2-1. Two and one. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. two out here and a runner at second. Slider and it's off his glove and it bounces away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, some would say no harm done with that wild pitch, right? But I disagree. The runner's now 90 feet away from scoring an infield single, a booted ball, and he crosses the plate. That might not be the case if he were still on second. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. That is it. The left fielder, number 25. Digging in Anthony. now, Anthony Santander. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Gloved by LeMahieu. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Alex Cobb is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Striding into the box, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Brett. of the first. Gardner. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Hey. Working quickly now as the splitter's in there, 0 and 2. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. And he misses oh, there. One and two. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. He'll try again. One, two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. The 2 2. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Yeah, that's a pitch right there to split finger that, that needs to be buried, and it was man. not executed. DJ. Left it thigh high, and as Love an offensive Hayes. player, that's what you're waiting on. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. High and deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying, and he makes the catch in the corner. Batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Digging in, Aaron Judge. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone.
from the belt. The pitch. Nope. And a fastball. Close, but ultimately ruled a ball. 1 0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The 1 0 home. Sharp ground ball to third. One there. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The center fielder, Austin Hayes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players. But apparently, when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. Just two simple words. All rise. Aaron Judge burst onto the scene. And what's really cool about the judges' chambers, all of those seats you're looking at right there are all given towards community organizations, charities, and even Little League teams. So the judges' chamber is going towards a good cause. Stepping into the box, Pat Valaika, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. Yeah. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Hey, obviously, he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one, slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. A one pitch on its way. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And it's two, two balls, balls and two strikes two now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 2 2 one more time. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang-bang place at first the first as the most difficult 19. calls for an ump to make. Great. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. 
from the belt the pitch Chris Davis is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike that elevated fastball right there that is the biggest change in the game today for me when I first came up a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west nothing in one count here it comes and there's a line drive base hit to left field oh and it eats him up a bit the batter number 11 shortstop Jose Iglesias so now to the plate Jose Iglesias as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike he singled to open up the ball game. Come set the 0 1 that misses wide one ball and one strike. Well he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work that's 37 pitches and ideally he'd be closer to 27 instead. Just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball has to be a challenge pitch coming up here he probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases two and two the count not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long the set and the two two fly ball heading for the alley after it is Gardner he can't get there so the inning will continue he pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the now play on the third base so much of this on game three. is situational now hitting guys nice job there yeah you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here he just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout into the box Hanser Alberto That's a ball. lays off one and oh he was a strikeout victim in his first try ready with the 1 0 now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here his pitch count is getting up there in the inning now he needs to get this frame over with sooner than later so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do here's the 2 0 Aye. two balls one strike. Ball, Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. Here's the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. Orioles get a run on the RBI double. On to the bottom of inning number two. And it's 1-0 Baltimore. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. He's set to lead off the home the half of the hitter. second. Gary! Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Mike Ford. Now to the plate, Mike Ford.
Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Pulled toward right center field. Hayes on the run for it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting six. Not shortstop. Waver. Torres. Stepping up to the plate, Torres. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Cobb gets the sign. First pitch on its way. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Mancini moving back. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're down 1-0. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Top of the third set to get underway. Striding in once again, Trey Mancini. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Now the pitch. One ball, two strikes. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The one two. I got to count two and two. Now this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches, and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Here now the two two. Hit out towards second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on a hard single the up the middle. Hit. Yeah, watch your lips Leonardo. right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. And here's Renato Nunez as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1-0 is taken strike one. A two and one count to Nunez. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A three one pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. 
And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Sharp ground ball to third. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Orioles held in check there, but they lead it one to nothing. Standing in, Tyler Wayne, as we move on game. to the bottom of inning number the three. Baseman, Tyler Wayne. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Batting eight, the left fielder, Flint Frazier. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. A one count. Here's the pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down to the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch that misses one and two. And a splitter swung on and missed that time and that'll be out number two. Batting now down. batting Kyle Higashioka. He'll get Kyle. to take his first cuts here. Higashioka. Cobb gets the sign. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike. Hey! Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. The 1-1 home. Fouled off. The one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line but speared on a hop. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One two three go the Bombers. They still trail one nothing. New inning set to get underway. Into the box now, Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that's out.
pitch is popped up. And no one will get this one. This is popped up. LeMayhew has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. So striding forward now, Pat Valaika. He reached on a single in his first try. At the pitch taken several inches Count below the zone over. in fact one out nobody on fouled away one and one here it comes and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batting, catcher, Pedro Severino. Digging in for his second at bat, Pedro Severino. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit high and deep out to left. Ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Three up, three down for the Orioles, but they're up one to nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now. Leading up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. The center fielder, Brett. Gardner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Down and away, it's a ball and two One strikes. Ball, two strikes Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The next one two pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. You take a look at the numbers up to this point. Third you base see, base. he's only given up two DJ. hits so far today, so he's been Love hitting his spots you. all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now, this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get two. To second for one, and a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the one. The right fielder, kids, this is why you always Aaron. go hard into second base. Yeah. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Oh, 
hit hard to short and that gets through for a one out base hit. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. Now he stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base Gary. hit. Gary Sanchez. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. First and second now, one man out. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. And he got him. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. At the plate now, Mike Ford, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the top of inning number five we go. The O's lead this thing one to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Here's Chris Davis now. A base hit in his first trip. Chris Davis. Now the pitch. 1-0. The 1-0 home. The ball in two strikes. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two is laid off for ball two. Fouls this one off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. To the plate now, Jose Iglesias. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Now oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Here now the 2-2. Line toward right center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the now inner half of that baseball right there. 
staying oh, to it oh, and through good. it, not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. At the plate, Hanser Alberto. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. The right fielder, number 16, Trey Mancini. So here's Trey Mancini. Last time through was a base hit. He's set and the pitch. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Two out with the man at first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Rounded slowly to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. But they hold a one nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Leading off. Thank you, Heidi. Yankee. And that'll bring up Glover Torres. He leads off Labor. in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through Torres. on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Here's the pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And he misses two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch the down in the zone right 14. there below the knee. Second Offensive player was all over. Way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. This will show Bunt will pull it back for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sacrifice attempt here to Iglesias for one. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Up that was kind of a high degree of difficulty no play that time. You Wait. see the off balance throw Wait, to second girl. base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. 
at the plate. Clint Frazier looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the stretch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. One out and a runner on second base. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I now mean, even it. the 8-9 hole hitters are Kyle. solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. In now, Kyle Higashioka. Now that's popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. The batter. The better field. Here's Brett Gardner Brett. now. He steps in off a Gardner. base hit in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Oh and one here it comes called strike on the outside part of the plate oh and two runner aboard at first here with two gone in a one one ball game all one as he lays off below the zone The one two fouled off. The next one two pitch. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Cobb comes set. Here it comes. Swing and a hard liner to center field. A dive, but it's off his glove. Frazier ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And they'll tag him out at the plate. And that will keep our ball game tied as the inning is over. So one run here on three hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. Next will be the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. He's he set to lead us off in the, the sixth inning. Hitter, Renato Nunez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 1 0. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Pitch popped up. Torres is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that that's exactly Lexi. what they wanted out Anthony. of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So striding in Anthony Santander. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And a dive out there in left center, but he can't come up with it. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what we refer to in the biz as the a back. hanger right there. The he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Standing in now, Austin Hayes. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. That evens it up, 1 and 1. Here's a cold strike on the curveball, one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the now bat that. and trying to protect before the ball even that. left the pitcher's hand. Oh, that pitch God. wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0. Pitch takes off inside and gets away. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Two and one, here it is. That's ball three. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three balls, one strike. He got three and it's up two. to a three two full count now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Ready with the payoff pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. The three of us are back with more following this. Digging in to try it again. DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 2 DJ. thus far in this one. LeMayhew. Hits softly on the ground to third. Alberto gloves it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Gary. And now is the Yankees' DH, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Cobb's ready. Here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball. 1 and 0. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. 
Hey. A ball and a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. The 1-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still tied one apiece. Chad Green is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57, Chad Green. Ready now for Baltimore, Pedro Severino. He flew out in his last at bat. Pedro Severino. The pitch. Fouled away. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now One back. gone now in the Baltimore the seventh. And up next, Great. the left handed power Davis. bat of Chris Davis. From the stretch. Oh, fair. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. <laughs> Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. The batter, number 11. Shortstop Jose Iglesias. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in Jose Iglesias, trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Two out, nobody on. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Gardner is under it, and he makes the catch Ladies for out number three. One, two, well, three, go the Orioles. Seven, seven, Score remains tied one to one. Stepping into the box, Mike Ford. It's been an 0 for 2 for effort Yankees. for him to this point. The first baseman, Mike Ford. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, ball one. One and 0 pitch on the way. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one. Now here it comes.
on. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball now all around the strike zone. Up. And then what do you do? Labor. You come in. That's a hard Go pitch red. for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Into the box, Torres. As he rips it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. The batter number 14, second baseman, Tyler Wade. So stepping in, Tyler Wade. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Cobb's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Now the 1 0. Is yeah. laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike two. If he's able to locate that two seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Right, two and two. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And he popped him up, Iglesias, into shallow left. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains deadlocked at one. At the plate, Hanser Alberto. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hunter Alberto. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, and that misses for ball one. Hey. In there, and it's even at one. I got one ball, one strike. One one home waves and misses for strike number two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Hit out towards second scooped up. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The right fielder number 16. Ray Mancini. Digging in once again, Trey Mancini. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1-0. Is swung on and missed strike one. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his bat and gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Now here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Slider laid off for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. 
And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that ball from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. So now to the plate, Renato Nunez. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left. As they take the lead, it's two to one. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead. Going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony. Stepping Santander. in now, Anthony Santander. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And it's fouled away. Two two here it is three and two now that was kind of a gift to the hitter he's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone it's obviously easy to take that one. The three two pitch swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And this is a fair ball as it'll head for the 314 sign. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of now cheese middle of the plate, the and he didn't miss it. Often. Hey. To the plate now, Austin Hayes. Ball one. He could really use a knock Ball here. One, 0 for no 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Lays off again, and it's 2 0. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. A runner on first with two away. Three and oh now. Ball three and things are starting to get real interesting. It's time to start making some good pitches. Three and one.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now, now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him oh, for a bit. God. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Into the box now. Pat Valaika in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swung on and missed, it's 0 and 1. Two down runners at first and second. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Rip down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Jonathan Holder answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Holder. So digging in now, Pedro Severino. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. As a look, now the pitch center field after it is Gardner and he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning Orioles get a run thanks to the long ball bottom of the eighth coming up two to one Baltimore Paul Fry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth Miguel Andujar will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 41, Miguel Andujar. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. A 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Ready on one and two. Lined into center field, and right off the bench, he comes through. It's a base hit. There's high ball hitters and low ball hitters in the game. The Obviously, this the guy catcher. likes the ball down below Royal. the knees. Nice piece of Peter hit. Tioka.
at the plate, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Boy, D-Roll, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? He gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing small. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, that's 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 well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. One there. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now battle. The third baseman, DJ. Next for New York, J.J. LeMayhew, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First offering on its way. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. One oh count. Here it is. In for a strike. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 2-1 home. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down. A base hit. In comes the runner from third, and we are tied here in the eighth. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring like in the late innings. So that RBI done. base hit to tie things Aaron. up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah. yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. Pickle, that is unbelievable now, he's able to get that three. knock in that big spot. Number Sean 23. Armstrong answers the call oh. now, looking to get Armstrong. this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he takes ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. It's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The one two. Two ball, two strikes. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded.
game hanging in the balance. The 3 2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go-ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Now batting, the designated hitter. Next will be the cleanup Gary. hitter, Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. He sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees at strike one. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. From the stretch, the one-two. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. But the tying run comes across to score here as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Giancarlo Stanton is into the ball game now as he'll take over game. out in left field. Now playing left field. Number 27. DJ Stewart is going to come on and pinch hit here, and this is an important at-bat leading things off in the ninth in a tie ball game. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there. One away. The batter, number 11. Good shot. Jose Iglesias. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Iglesias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. and oh. One out, nobody on. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. Holder is at least partially known for a good changeup, and it's not just any change of speed pitch, it dances all over the place. The 2 1 home. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. Here it comes. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire yeah, to make. The check the swing thing. appeal, hitters oh, rarely yeah. feel like oh, they went, good. and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh And it's one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here's the one and two. Ball. Oh. 
Three that ball. pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Richard Blyer enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Richard Blyer. Rio Ruiz is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Rio Ruiz. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Ford. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 tie. Four. Here comes the first pitch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1-0. and oh. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. This is in the air to left field. Santander is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. Now batting, shortstop, Waver, Torres. Ready now, Torres. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Ready with the 0 1. A bouncer up the middle. Iglesias to his left. He's there. And quickly there are two away. Now battle. The second baseman. Tyler. Way. Gio Urshela will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. This one's down to third. Alberto fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Now batter, the left fielder. Man, as we take Just another look at this in slow motion, you can see that the first baseman makes a great effort to scoop it out of the dirt. Almost had it, but it squirts out of the pocket, and the man's on board with a throwing air. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. 
So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone. And, it. and that's Get exactly it. what he gets Kyle. right here. A belt-high pitch he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Big moment in the ball game here. Kyle Higashioka as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. Here's the first pitch. That's a good Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. A ball and a strike now. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Malika onto the grass. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. Yanks strand a pair. And this game is still tied at two and two. Your Gio Urshela will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play game. second here. Now playing second base, number 29, Gio Urshela. Settling in now, Trey Mancini. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The windup and the 0-1. Ball one. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2-1. He's in there for the second strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Hit in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. He's through first and hustling for second. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy now down for long. That's the, the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Oh. Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box now, Renato Nunez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now the one and two pitch. And well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. Here's the two-two pitch. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout the there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Anthony Santander. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, you got a runner in scoring position. It only takes one. I know he was out in front on that off-speed pitch right there, but this pitcher cannot get cute and leave something over the heart of the plate. And he'll manage to fight this one foul over near the left-hand side, and that'll keep the count steady at 0-2. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, oh, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Into the box, Austin Hayes, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The set and the 1 0. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Orioles leave one. Score remains two to two. Miguel Castro comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Miguel Castro. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Brett. First pitch coming. Yard Here Brett. it is. At the ball. The 1-0. Nope, that's bad. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. Now the 3 0 offering is in there for strike one. Possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game now is tied, it. the last Third thing you can afford to do is walk DJ. the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. In now, DJ LeMayhew. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. The 0 1. And he'll try and get that winning run into scoring position as he puts this one down. To Iglesias for one. The relay not in time as he beats the, the throw by a step. Took a pretty long time for the Error. shortstop to receive the ball that yeah. time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. 
Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Hits this one hard the other way. To second for one. On to first, not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Up next to the Yankees, the designated hitter, Gary Sanchez. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And it's one and two. One and two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Hot shot down the line. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. Now batting. First base thing. Well, that's not a bad Five. pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. Four. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. Striding in, Mike Ford. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Winning runs at second with two down, however. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. And another foul ball. A 1-2 pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Iglesias is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Yanks strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Tyler Lyons please. takes the mound to now start the 11th the inning. Number 58, Tyler. Liar. 11th inning set to get underway. Coming to the plate now, Pat Valaika. He's working on a one for three thus far. Valaika. Here comes the first pitch. Ball back outside. The 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. So now to the plate, Pedro Severino. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres has it. And there are two away now. Now batting the first baseman, Rio Ruiz. Into the box, Rio Ruiz. First delivery to him on the way. That's a ball. Two out, nobody on. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. Two, oh. two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Fouled off. From the windup, the 2-1 pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 2-2. Digging in, Torres. He was retired for the ground ball the last game. time up. The shortstop. Waver. First offering on its way. Go red. Well, and we'll hold right. off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. That's Perhaps a little low there. It's two and oh. Two balls, no break. Now here it comes. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Well, he was definitely trying to end it with one swing at a bat right there, leaving nothing to the imagination. That's the problem sometimes. Everyone wants to be a hero in extra innings instead of just getting on base and playing it like another inning. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. And the pitch. Aye. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Oh, Nothing in oh. one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one and two pitch. Whoa, that kicked out. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there's out number two. Now batting, left fielder, John Carlo. 
Stanton. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Giancarlo Stanton. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Here's the pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to inning number 12 we go. And we are tied 2-2. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five okay. thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And a ball, 1-0. and He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. The one two. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. The battle. Now, programming note to pass game. along. Those of you tuning Thank in you. to see our afternoon Albert aerobics show, Get Fit with Eddie Cram. Unfortunately, due to the length of the game, that show will not be seen today. Ladies, we apologize. Stepping up now, Hanser Alberto. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. The right fielder, number 15, Gray Mancini. Stepping in, Trey Mancini. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. 1 and 2. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Two out, nobody on. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. Back goes Stanton, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left, and it's now a one-run ball game. That's a great job by the hitter right there. Extra innings, breaks the tie up. That's not an easy thing to do. To the plate now, Renato Nunez. 
as he rips Bernard. it on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now batting, the left fielder, Anthony Santander. At the plate now, Anthony Santander, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. He went down on strikes last time up. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Judge is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. A run on two hits and they leave one. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. It's the Orioles three and the Yankees two. Your Michael Givens please. enters from the pen now, now as they've the saved inning. their closer until Number this deep 60. into extra innings. Michael Givens. Bottom of the 12th inning now. Leading Stepping off. in, Four Kyle Higashioka. He comes the into catcher. this appearance in the midst Kyle. of a one for four day. Higashioka. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. Lifted in the air out to left field. Santander waits on it. One away. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Brett Gardner. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and look out as they brush him back here. It's ball one. Short hit hard. Iglesias is up with it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting third baseman DJ Love Mayhew. Now at the plate DJ LeMayhew. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's in there for his strike one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Two the count now at 2-2. Two and two. Last chance for the Yankees. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory. But that's what's going to make it even more satisfying they take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. Miguel Castro is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.